What's up, guys? This is Dr. Gabrielle Lyon here with my best friend, longtime mentor, Dr. Donald Lehman. And we are going to be talking to you about pea protein, pea and whey. And here's why I'm doing this. Because every time I post something, I, I think I'm a glutton for punishment. Every time I post something on how plant and animal protein are different, it's very offensive for people. You and I all know, including Don in the Swiss Alps over here, knows that it's really not an offensive conversation. It, it truly is just a science-based conversation in terms of amino acid numbers. Don is feverishly over there looking for a number to share with you and why, because I just sprung this on him. So if you don't know this, him and I talk every day. Yes, I know it seems extreme, but it's true. We talk every day. And I said, hey, you know, I'm working on my book right now, but I want to take a little break and let's record some stuff. So what we're going to talk to you about is pea protein and the estrogen in pea protein. Tell me. Oh, it yeah. has <laughs> one million times more estrogen. Yeah. We'll talk about yeah. these animal products, but yeah. actually estrogen, there's one million times more estrogen in a pea protein than there is in something like a whey protein. Yeah, it's it's extremely high in all of the legumes. So soy and pea and you know any of the legumes, it's pretty high. And uh, what what people get confused about is in animals, uh, we use a bit of a supplemental uh, hormone, uh, particularly really more in um, meat production than in dairy production. But in meat production. Uh, the female cows get a small dose of testosterone, which makes them grow a little better. And it's a and little ear implant, correct? It's a very it's a little, small, it's a small little ear implant, implant yeah. behind the ear, which slowly dissolves over about a, I think, six to eight week period. Uh, so it's very slow. In fact, when you look at blood levels, you can't really distinguish it between normal levels. There's a little right. bit there, but it's, there's... I think, and again, I couldn't find the numbers right offhand, but uh, the numbers but they are exist. like- They exist. And yeah, they, there's a great study out of the University of Oklahoma that went through and compared the values across a lot of different foods. And you know, if you look at it, milk and eggs have about, uh, eggs in particular have a value, and I forget the units, which is what's driving me crazy. It's like nano- nanomoles, nanograms per gram of protein or something. But anyway, just for relative numbers, eggs have about 77, meats have about seven. So it's 10 times higher. Mm -hmm. And as you pointed out, legumes are a million. <laughs> it's just- So it's to just these three... strange conversations that people are having about yeah. that you shouldn't eat animal products because these animal products are higher in estrogens and they're higher in implantable hormones, yeah. which is simply just not true. It's just not true. And, and one of the reasons, and wait a, a second, of, we're going to talk about why they use a small implant in, you know, behind the ear of a cow is to bring up the hormone levels. So they're homogeneous. Yeah, right? exactly. It's, so you know, females have, you know, of any species have less muscle mass than males. And so by giving Which is, them- Which by the way, totally unfortunate. Yeah, <laughs> but by giving them a small implant of testosterone, they grow a little faster. Mm -hmm. Likewise, male cattle have a male-based kind of right. taste and by giving them estrogen. So now they become more uniform. They can grow in the same feedlots. They taste about the same, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a production issue. But, you know, the other thing is, you know, kind of putting it in relative sense that the legumes have so much. Well, soy has been looked at extensively in the research literature relative to breast cancer and things like that. And people have found that the soy level a million times the meat level has no effect. So I'm, people I'm, so glad, I'm so glad you brought that up because that is another important aspect that we can isolate these facts and say that uh, you shouldn't eat animals because there's hormones in it, which all animals have hormones and that- <sighs> you know, perhaps pea protein is bad, which, I mean, I suppose we don't know the long-term effect, but then the next question is, do we know if these phytoestrogens are having a negative impact on health? And you know, those again, are the endpoint questions that we have yeah, to ask. Again, it, again, it, it gets into amounts, you know, at, 
levels that people normally eat legume proteins, right. there's no evidence that there's any negative effects. But what happens if we start eating four times as much of those forever? Uh, will that be effective? We don't know the answer to that. Mm. But what we do know is that those base levels that are in milk or eggs or meats or peas don't seem to have any negative effects on hormone or on human hormone human, level. Long-term health. Yeah. And so it's, you know, it's people drum up comments to make that really don't have science behind them. But they have a lot of emotion and this Absolutely. emotion is exactly. the science with, which at some point is um, so exhausting. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're going to make the argument that you shouldn't eat meat or milk or eggs because it has hormones in it, then you certainly better not touch any legumes. Right. I mean, that's just, that's just the bottom line. All right, guys. Well, we'll keep it short and sweet. I thought it was very important that we answer this question or, you know, I'm really just touch on this topic of hormones in products, especially hormones in pea protein and whey and egg again, because you're hearing a narrative that would, if it wasn't well thought out, it becomes very confusing. And if you like this channel and you like our conversations, please like, and subscribe, leave a comment. If there's something you want to hear us talk more about, then we're happy to do it.